My niggas like a marching band, no way we get to stepping Until all my dogs rich, it ain't no way you'll see me flexing I'm just tryna be top three, just gotta eat, won't ask for seconds But I got problems coming in four different ways like intersections So I've been staying out the way, just tryna get to some paper and I can't even What's up YouTube, Tati coming at you with another video And today we are doing Girl Talk episode one So, got three special guests today one of them not here yet. Y'all want to introduce y'all still. Hey, I'm Sky. My YouTube is Sky1K, S-C-H-I-Y-1-K, and it's all my social media. And I'm Taylor. Y'all know the one and only Miss Dot Taylor, T-A-Y-L-E-R. Don't forget. First, we're going to kick this bitch off with a shot. Y'all can pick y'all poison. Y'all know what's going on. Tequila, baby. I'm going to take the clear, please. So I'm going to do a little toast. So it's cheers to uh, episode one. The Bitches and money. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Nitty gritty. So, y'all want to take it easy? Y'all want to jump straight in the bullshit? It don't matter at this point. It's getting too long. We can take it easy. <laughs> okay, so the first topic is going to be um, the dating scene right now, dating scene 2022. So, what y'all got to say about the dating scene right now? I think it's very weak. It's like, weak as fuck. It's just like dudes don't know how to come at a girl or come at a lady, as I should say. <laughs> like, they just don't, they feel like they should get great responses but put in minimal effort mm. it doesn't work like that no you need to make yourself stand out you need to show me why you should give my attention instead of just expecting me to give it to you just because of stuff that you have going on in your personal life okay pop your shit twin period <laughs> uh i say it's hard out here thanks um i don't know i feel like Every aspect of the dating scene right now is ass. And no, I'm just not gonna say it's ass, because some people out here getting right and getting tight. I'm gonna say <laughs> it's it's weird. It's difficult. It's a struggle. Um I don't know, and then I feel like you got different areas. Well you got different lanes. Everybody got different lanes. You got industry dating, you got regular dating, you got girls that like girls, and then you got People who dating life is recycling they same starting five. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. You get me? So you <laughs> pick your poison, but it's like it's always something. Um, the world's small, and that's from regular people to famous people, rappers to YouTubers. Well, like whatever line you in, the world's small. Everybody knows everybody, especially if you stay in like a smaller city. But even like cities like Atlanta. All them Instagram bitches and Instagram niggas and all that, they still be knowing each other. So, like, everything really just to pass around. And it be hard to try to find your own person because it's never your own person. Right. Tyler, what's your name? <laughs> you, come on, what's your name? Um, from what you see. Yeah, from what I your see. Your point of view from what you see. You don't have to be personal, personalized. <laughs> I feel like intent. Uh, intentions aren't given or said in the beginning that's so right. it's like that's how situationships happen and I feel like that's right. how mix, mixed up emotions happen because right. you done caught feelings for this person but y'all not on the same type of time so it's like if you just go ahead and just say up front what you want like are we sexy intentions important that be the problem intentions important yeah like what type of problem because dudes trying to lie about what they really want like mm -hmm. just tell me I might be on the same type of time you want but then you right. lie about it then like, put me in a position where I don't have a choice no more yes and right. it's like they try to manipulate you to be on what they own you know what right. I'm saying and it's like if I don't want to mess with you like that I don't want to mess with you like that you know don't you can't feel no type of way if we're not on the same type of time because you want to fuck with me you know right. what I'm saying so it's just, I feel like that's like the main thing in communication. 
I feel like communication is like number one because we could be talking about what we talk about, but if you're not understanding what I'm saying, then I'm talking to a wall. So I feel like those are like two things: intentions and communication, and they go intentions together. is number one. Mm-hmm. I feel like intentions <laughs> is what we have me fuck. What be fucking me up is intentions. Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe me. I come straight out the gate. I tell them good. Let's talk intentions. So what's up? What you trying to do? What what are you expecting out of me? And I tell them what I'm expecting out of him. And we'll and we'll have the conversation and quote unquote establish that shit. That was gonna drive me. Okay, so we'll um have the conversation and establish that shit, but I don't know, it's like as time go on. Uh, wait, what I'm trying to say, hold on, okay, as time goes on, it ends up coming out that the intentions that they said they had weren't genuine, that's not really what it was, it was something else, but to me, since everybody's talking about pushing pee and shit, that's not pee, if you don't really listen, if you pop your shit on me, tell you, tell me what you want, and give me the option to fuck with it. Because like, that's what people get confused. Like, it's not player if you having to lie to the people that you're dealing hey. with to get them to fool with you. Hey. You should be able to say everything up front. And they say, well, I'm just going to fool with hey. you regardless. That's when it comes down to leaving me with a choice. Like, tell me the truth so I can decide whether I want to accept that or not. Then when I see that you're doing it, I can't get mad because you told me up front. Right. That's what you was on. Whereas hey. if you lie... And I find out how you cut off. Yeah, it's over with. Out. It's yeah. over with yeah. because you did something that you ain't even had to do. Because nine hey, times out of ten, nine times out of ten, I didn't care in the first place. So you lied for Hello. no reason. You Hello. lied for no reason. Hello, you done played yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so since we're talking about niggas, let's talk applying pressure. Who <laughs> and. Half of them act like they don't understand the concept. They don't know. know. Bro, a they question know. I have been getting asked lately is if I say, okay, if I if a nigga say I'm playing, you know how they, they be talking, mm-hmm. you be bullshitting, you be playing, whatever, whatever. And I'm like, you gotta keep my attention, you gotta apply pressure if you want my attention. And they always say, what I gotta do to apply pressure? Mm-hmm. Or well, how you do that? What does Gabe say? What I need from you is understanding. You got me up. Okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's how you got to apply pressure. Bro, but it's like, what's going on. I shouldn't have to give you, okay, I shouldn't have to, but you always end up giving them the blueprint, mm-hmm. laying them motherfucker out, top to bottom, but then it's like, okay, I done gave you the blueprint, now you want to act on it, but now I'm like, okay, not with it I'm not fucking with it because I told you to do that, yeah. I had to tell you to do that, you supposed to come and, with that shit, and, damn, and I, you want me to play my role, and give, you want me to play my role, and give you the blueprint, but y'all want to do it all the time, and I feel like if I gotta do all that, you don't like me for real, right. because if you like me, you will you understand you how to apply the pressure anyway, you will know how to apply the pressure you know anyway, you know you know and then they be wondering why you don't have my full attention because yeah. look at what you're doing. I'm bored. You're not doing it. You wonder I'm what bored. you're doing in hard eyes me to death, baby. Oh, no, the hard eyes on no. the story. You so fine. Like, I appreciate the compliment. Shower me with compliments. <laughs> you know, but damn, though, no, if we can't talk about shit else, like, what the fuck? And then dudes always want to be on some. Well, let's link. You know, you come over. I'm going to come over. Baby, mm-hmm. dead. Dead. Boy, if you don't take lovely. me out on a date, like, up, baby? it's just, going out it's just making day. me think you don't have no respect for me because you think you're going to come over before you even took me somewhere. And then going on a date, that's not you asking me, well, where are you trying to eat? Put me on some food. Asking me, me what food, we, like, asking me what I want to do, or where should we exactly. go? Exactly. Well, or find something and I'm going to pay for it, like, hey. bug, throwing tomatoes, hey. or, <laughs> no, 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 fuck that. Y'all complain about that, but it's like, okay, I'm bringing what I need to bring to the table. I done had to write out the blueprint for you, so you to get your shit together, and I can't get shit. It's too much because I'm asking for shit or because I want some. I don't even ask for shit while I'm talking shit. But it's too much to spoil me like, damn. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. I did everything. I, I did my I part, your part, wrote it down for you, wrote it down. I feel 50-50 like, on that because when you dating somebody, you got to realize at the same time, they may be dating multiple women just like 
We, I mean, just like, that's fine. Right. But, but my they thing don't is, spoil and splurge don't on entertain me. me and other women if you can't provide for all of us. <laughs> that's you fact. Know what I'm I think, I think in my, in my case, though, it be how the nigga come off. If you come off, Popping your shit. You want me to know you got bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, I just did this move. You know how niggas do. Yeah. You come popping your shit, flashing that shit. Every time I, you know I'm watching your stories, we fucking with each other. Every time I get on these bitch, you new role, you know. <laughs> then, okay, if that's how, if that's how you presenting yourself, I'm gonna expect you to spin that shit. Or, I mean, or else don't mention just, it to me, cause it ain't benefiting me, so why do you keep telling me about it? question of the valentine's day so it's men versus women is valentine's day a man's holiday or a woman's holiday see they want to argue and get their panties in a twist on motherfucking I... twitter talking bad to me because we talking about who holiday is it i was just saying it's a okay in my opinion it's a a women a woman driven holiday like yeah. girls you know girls be excited for shit like that that's not saying don't do shit for mm -hmm. who you talking to or your mm -hmm. partner or whatever. But I do feel like it's, you know, you're supposed to go out. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just, I feel like it's a general love holiday. Like, if you want to do something for somebody you care for, then this your time to do that. Because I'm going to just say, both my parents always did something for my, me and my siblings for uh, Valentine's Day. Whether it was like a card or some money or a teddy bear or just, you know, going out just to show, like, you know, just to spend time. I feel like Valentine's Day is just to set time aside to, you know, like, I was thinking about you, you know, yeah, I did this it. and then, like, you know, but if you want to go hard for your significant other, because sometimes you just want to show them, like, you know, I care about you, I thought about you on this day. Here's a little song, whatever, or you can go, you know, go hard. So that's how I feel. What's your take on this guy? I feel the same way, literally. Like, I feel like it don't have to be for men or for women. Because personally, like, I think giving gifts, that's like my love language. So Bad. I'm going to go all out I'm for it. Give, give I'm going to go all out now. for the dude who I talk to anyway. So yeah. if it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to go all out for you because I know I want you to go all out for, for me. me. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna make sure you taking care of everything good, cause that's what I know I would want. So mm -hmm. I don't think it's really gender specific, but I mean I'm gonna always say a dude should do more for the girl. Right. But I'm a I'm gonna pop my stuff regardless. So. I mean I got gifts getting bad. I yeah, trying, I be trying to outdo. And I be feeling bad. so dumb. I'm like, girl, you talking about you, so you really, really deserve this for real? But, but, too, cause you see stuff, you be like, oh. Literally, at least take me out. Literally. You ain't gonna buy me no whole bunch of shit, but at least take me out. 
take me out. I, I feel like the me. amount of time we've been talking only determines what gifts I get. That's what I think. So if we start talking a week ago, you know, you can take me out, give me some flowers. If that, we that's a minimum. If we've been talking for three months, that's minimum. Boy, you need to pop it. I feel like that go along with intentions, though. If we not on that type of time, like. We, we talk about somebody you talking to. Like oh. somebody you, y'all intentions are y'all like each other and y'all trying to get to know each other, want to fuck with each other. Because my it's thing just, is. I feel like if that's what we said, we was on. Even if we started talking a week ago, I feel like that it's Valentine's Day and you know, you know how women. Well, I don't really do press it better, but you know how women feel about their day. I feel like the least you could do is do the flowers, take me on a day. Even if you don't do the flowers, take me on a day. Because my thing is, if you don't get mad because I went out on Valentine's Day with somebody else, that means you should have been, you should have been popping your stuff though. So I feel That's like if saying. you was gonna get mad about me going with somebody else, you need to make sure you have something planned for me on Valentine's. I, that's how I feel like you should answer that question. So the question was, I'm gonna say it again: How long should you wait when you start talking to somebody before you start expecting shit for Valentine's Day? I'm gonna say, okay, if somebody else was doing that for me, if you feel like you would get mad, then it's time. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah. even if we start talking last week, so if Valentine's Day come around, you ask me what I'm right. doing, you know, I'm like I'm on a date, and you right. can go. Then right. it's gonna be time for you to yeah. pop your shit. Exactly. You that's exactly what I was trying yeah. to say. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. All right, we got a new guest in this bitch. Go and tell them your Instagram or something. So you know. You show her honey. My Instagram is honeybeats.so. Follow me. Okay. So we're going to take a shot to the good shit. So cheers to the good shit. More bitches and money. <laughs> Let's get into this freak shit. Okay. So the first topic is threesomes. So how do you go about picking who to have your threesome well, I feel like it needs to be somebody the nigga ain't never had no past with. Because I just don't see how that will work. Like, if you still got feelings for this girl, just say that. Because <laughs> once you get to doing a little too much, doing a little too lovey, don't let her say, I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm gone. Either I'm going to fight both of y'all or I'm gone. I feel like um, it could be a random or a friend. It just depends on the situation. And that's what I think. Mm, honey? So, <laughs> I don't think the nigga should ever pick. I don't either. Who? Yeah. And I say that because I feel like when niggas pick, they go pick a bitch that they want to they, fuck in. Right, right. right. It's exactly what they're going to do. And for me, I say, um, I don't know. It, it just depends on the fucking situation and who the nigga is. So let's say we talking about some other bitch you talking to or your boyfriend. Okay. So in that situation, how would you go about picking? You going friends, you going random, you going stripper, I you out of town, did some regular shit. I or... definitely wouldn't do a friend. That would probably be the last person I would do. Because if I find yeah. out that y'all having any communication after that, baby, you're done. But if that's <laughs> your friend, done. it should be love. For me, I feel like the girl has to be a friend for me because I know I kind of feel like I know where she is. Yeah, you know, kind of like a vibe. Yeah, like yeah, just a random like you, yeah, ask, you yeah. asking for a lot. You if are, you a random and you think we finna go in here and fuck, I'm gonna put my mouth on you. I mean, I just feel like it depends because if you out with your if, if you out with your boyfriend and you y'all feeling good and y'all like damn that's a bad bitch or you know whatever whatever then it just might happen like that. It just depends. I feel like it's just it just depends. I feel like it's too much going around. It's too, you know. So you feel like it should be planned. I, yeah, I mean, you, you don't even have to be planned. Like, but it is just like if this your like your homegirl or some shit. I mean, I can't fuck my homegirl. 
I, just, I don't want to have no threesome with no bitch. I still got whiskey. And that's what I'm saying. And another thing is, like, how y'all been saying, know. like, with your homegirl, you kind of know where they have been. And that's personally, the for me to not want to be. <laughs> but personally, I can't relate because I don't know who my homegirls be. I don't know. I feel okay, like. Okay, so what do y'all like? Okay, know. with your homegirls, like, what do y'all talk about? Yeah. My idea of a threesome is, okay, me and who I'm talking to, who I'm with, whatever. We out of town, it's on some, you know, on some drunk shit, like, I would rather have a threesome, I don't know, I would rather have a threesome with a stripper or something like that. With a stripper? That's, That's okay. like a roll of the dice. It's yeah. a roll of the dice regardless. And it's it's, it's going to be a roll of the dice regardless for me because I'm not fucking my friend. But I can't see myself I'm fucking saying. no stripper. I, can't. Well, I would rather fuck my friend that I gotta look at like, hey, bitch, what's up, girl? <laughs> no, like, hey, bitch, yeah. I know I ain't no pussy ass stuff. Let's say, like, that ain't happening. It's but, funny. I mean, it just is what it is. That's just like, that's just like, that's just like you fuck a nigga and you walk past him in the function. We ain't, I mean, it just that's is what it is. That's not the funny because that's not my like, friend. Okay, but I'm saying, I feel you like know around folks that you have sex with. I mean, yeah, just, I think it should be somebody who like, like an associate. It should be somebody that's an associate. Think, somebody yeah, I know, but I don't think it should be every day. Yeah, I don't think it should be besties. Like, there we go. There we go. Then I'm gonna get to like, I take that. I'm a associate. I get that. I take those. It could be a bitch that I know, but it's not no bitch that I'm talking to every day. I don't know. Moving on to the last topic. The last topic is sneaky links. So, uh, so what is a sneaky link to you, honey? Start with you. What's your <laughs> definition, honey? School of fun. What's your definition of a sneaky link? My definition of a sneaky link is somebody that you you fucking with, but you it's not really public. Okay. Not too deep. Yeah. Okay. I feel like a sneaky link is somebody. Uh, what Megan say? You know, you see him in the club. Don't nobody know y'all know each other, but I put him on the love. Yeah, let's <laughs> all together. But I text him when I'm ready to go. Hey, hey. that's a sneaky link to me. Okay, okay. Same. Yeah, yeah that's what I like. That's your, you agree? Yeah, I think that. And then personally, like a sneaky link would be somebody I couldn't see myself in a relationship with. Because that's okay. why I'm sneaky linking with you because I don't have no intention on but I popping out with you. But as far as sneaky links go, do you establish with your sneaky link that y'all are sneaky links? You telling them, we sneaky link. This is, this is some sneaky link shit. I feel like you don't have to. Because sometimes when you tell a dude certain stuff, he be trying to like for it sometimes, you know. Okay, come on, what's on the school don't have to be explained. Yeah, sometimes it be like, yeah. you know, what you think? You telling them, you telling them he a sneaky link, this ain't thing. I think it be established by the situation because whenever I had a sneaky link, like, we knew that we was in situations where Baby, we not finna pop out. Don't even take no picture of me type thing. No, hey, don't post my face. <laughs> yeah, like don't post my shoes. It's my basically purse, like she said, like, like what's understood. <laughs> what's understood. Okay. Um, I don't even know. You don't know if you're gonna tell them or not? I don't know if I'm just kinda of basing it off the situation. Yeah. And I feel like you I kind of feel like what's un what you know what's understood don't have to be explained, but mm -hmm. at the same time, like what if y'all, what if y'all don't agree? What if you want it to be a sneaky link and they don't? Yeah, that's the intention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we talked about that already. That's the intention. Okay, so if a sneaky link is really a sneaky link, are you telling your friends about your sneaky link? I mean, you don't want nobody to know. Look, so. dick is then I'm probably gonna say so. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Okay, so ending the video, the last question slash topic, whatever you wanna call it. So sneaky link do's and don'ts. So what's the what's the number one don't for your sneaky link? I'm don't, gonna say don't post me. Yeah, don't that's what me. I was gonna say too. Don't don't post me. Don't even hint. If you say if I if we go somewhere, damn. If we go somewhere, we doing something, and I kind of fuck around and post the scenery, scenery or something. Don't go back and post the same scenery. Yeah, but that's what we blowing. Why would you do that? Where y'all going? I was just gonna say this. I don't know. Yeah, when I had a sneaky.
Piggy Link, we used to go out of town together. Okay, out of town. Out of town. Where the fuck is We're talking about out of town, though. We out of town. I wouldn't post in town anyway. But we out of town and I done posted a few of them. I played or something. You still ain't got no pictures of me and you posting the same motherfucking lamb chop. I didn't post What Jason? What Jason? Post the food, but don't post the nigger. Hey, post out the bag, but don't post the spin. The kiss and you tell. I'm a suspend a drink game with this pussy. Spin some facts. I'm taking drink today. <laughs> Cheers to what's JT. Your, Cheers to that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your number one don't? Me. Or a top three don't, rather. Um. Don't, I don't do the random calls and FaceTime. Like, you can send okay, me a text, okay, you know, let me know what's popping, what you're trying to do. But don't just call me because you never know where I'm at. You never know what I'm doing. Okay. Exactly. And you never know who the fuck I'm with. Yes. No pop ups for sure. Yeah, no pop ups. No okay. Pop-ups. You know what? This is kind of off topic, but this is making me realize that my sneaky link is not a sneaky. What is it? Cause y'all be doing the random motherfucking What is your relationship at that point? Okay, well, we ain't got that pride. Y'all pride. Y'all pride. Y'all pride. Okay, do y'all think a sneaky link has a time limit? Hell no. I feel like after a certain amount of time, you not it's. He not sneaky link no more, y'all. No, no, okay, let me see. Let me see. Y'all really on that. Let me say this. They do have a time limit. Because I feel like a sneaky link is a phase. It that is. nigga is a phase. That it nigga is, is transitioned it. The- relationship was over she I go back to the she sneaky link so I feel like sneaky links are forever basically no. unless you just no, no. no. want to cut him off no that dick was fire no, no that dick was fire you want to fuck yeah, him again yeah, sneaky yeah, links are not forever sneaky links are not forever no man I agree with that even if even if you want to it's like a time span like you fuck with him one year and you don't really fuck with him say you fuck with him in 21 no say you fuck with him in 20 in 2020 but you really fuck with him in 21 but he hit you january 22. i mean if that's all he <laughs> if that's all he sometimes it be like that but it's still transition dick at the end of the day that's fair that's how that's i feel because you're not fucking with him when you got a nigga but when you do you done fuck with your nigga you like all right going back to the transition dick till i find somebody i can fuck with oh god you know that transition dick be different that's what gets you. <laughs> that's because you be hurt, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, that's all. Let me talk about when you lose your favorite hoe. Yeah, for real. That'd be tough. That'd be Gotta tough. come back and apologize. Like, I don't even know why I did Talk that. Sorry, I just <laughs> lost the love of my life. <laughs>
clashing. We steady clashing because now we going back and forth about this shit. Because when I get gotta, on that, he like, hold on, hold on. And you got to like, first of all, I don't act like you want yeah. to Once yeah. feelings get involved, that shit get yeah, 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 difficult. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Once feelings get involved, it make it sticky. It make it sticky. It do. That's, 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 that's why they're fast. Yeah, that's, that's why they are fast. And it's not fun for every shit. If you was speaking with me, why you got a bitch? I know you don't speak with me. If I'm coming to bitch. Okay, so. Just piggybacking off of that, do the sneaky way mean that either one of y'all already got somebody? No, no, no. I don't time. feel like it has to. It could. It could, yeah. It could. Not all the time. Not saying that I agree with cheating, but at the same time, it'd be like, it'd be like this. I time. had a sneaky lean, and he was a truck driver. So he was just like, whenever he was in the city, you know, we fucked with each other. When he was gone, he was gone. But that don't mean I had a man. Like, I was just I was just doing me. But he was still my sneaky link because they don't like know I fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? But whenever he was in town, I would, you know, we fucked with each other. I don't want to say what my sneaky link was. That whole, that whole stomach gonna be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my sneaky wing, what was his definition of a sneaky wing? And mm-hmm. he said, that's kind of the way you treat me. Oh, oh so I was like, come on, P, push your P, don't play with you. Damn. So, do that mean you want a little more? Do okay, so if he wants a little more, you feel like you gonna give it to him? Yeah, or you feel like I'm gonna keep him in the sneak. Is he room. is he a little more material, or is he just sneaky link material? Cause some sneaky well, links be having I potential. Don't know, up. because he's giving energy. Ooh, apply pressure. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what space you in mentally. Sometimes the transitional dick can make you feel a way that's it's really illusion. not that way. It be yeah. an illusion. <laughs> Y'all Imagination. Imagination. <laughs> and it probably is. Y'all, don't think, y'all don't think transitional dick can get promoted though? Like he can't move up to boyfriend? That's why it depends on the self though. It depends on the situation. But though. also, even, even but sometimes even if... The transitional dick has potential. Sometimes, like sometimes you be wanting a phase, a phase nigga to be more than that, but it don't need to be more than that. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. the tissue yeah. just needs yeah. that nigga to get from point A to B. Right. That's true. Ooh, see, you just that's why. <laughs> right. I be speaking like. My niggas like a marching band, no way we keep the stepping Until all my dogs rich, it ain't no way you'll see me flexing I'm just trying to be top three, just gotta eat, won't ask for seconds But I got problems coming in four different ways like intersections So I've been staying out the way, just trying to get to some paper and I can't even talk